from the time that the recent child support guidelines changed, so sometime in the late 90s, I believe around 97, 98, um, at that time the law changed so it said that if a person has the children for 40% of the time or more, they can ask for a reduction of their child support obligation. So what ended up happening with that change in law was a lot of people came out of the woodwork and started demanding more time with the children and they were doing it with a calculator in one hand because they wanted to reach the threshold in order to reduce their child support obligations. And in some cases, it was actually a very appropriate thing to do because the argument was, I would rather keep the money in my pocket and use it on the children when they're with me than to actually give it to the other parent and let them spend it on the children. So there was a lot of cases on the issue of shared custody and its effect on child support. If it's not motivated by dollars and cents, and if it's really motivated to spend more time with the children, the question then becomes, what is in the children's best interest? If you were to spend more time with them than what you are currently doing now, would the children benefit from it more or would it create greater inst instability in their lives? So for example, should they have one primary resident, pre pre one primary residence and one secondary residence, yours, or should they actually have two homes that they go back and forth from on a regular basis? You know, five days here, five days there, one week here, one week there. And that's a question that uh, is called what is in the children's best interest? We suggest that you progressively take steps to increase the time you have with the kids. Um, you made a very, very good point a minute ago about you would move as close as you could to them so as to create a very um, comforting mm -hmm. uh, environment for them so that they wouldn't have to travel very far to go from their mom's home to school to your home. And so, for example, if you were to be before a judge and you were to say, look, you know what, I used to live here, but now I live close to them. I used to see them on Saturday and Sunday. I'd like to see them from Friday to Sunday or from Saturday to Monday. And uh, I could pick them up from school on Friday. I could bring them to school Monday morning. So now you can stretch your regular routine to from Friday to Monday morning. Is and this a joint custody issue? Without even getting into that language. Okay. If the effort here is just to maximize his time, Jeff's time with the kids, then really just look at the week and say, I see them right now on this schedule. I'd like to expand that schedule. And you could do that ever so gradually over the course of time. With a three-year-old and five-year-old, you have a lot of time in front of you. So you'll certainly have the opportunity to make those arguments, whether to your to your partner who you're amicable with and if you can't resolve it through her maybe through the therapist and if that isn't successful then maybe then through a court through, yeah.